Hey all, welcome again on Davis Tag. This is a part 5 video of the model class series. And if you didn't watch the first four video, please watch it first because we will take component, I mean the code which we written in the last four video to this video. I mean, it is very important to watch the first four video to understand this fifth video. And you can find the link of the first four video on the description in the eye corner. Please watch it first. In the last video, we created a page where we have two things name and phone number and after clicking a name and phone number we added a data so if i will click name test one and some phone number like one two three four and if i will click on add data then after clicking add data we will land it to the page where we are showing the data and this video uh the showing the data which created on a part two or part three so I deleted all the data we just have a one data over here so in this video we will send the multiple data right now I mean we are sending a single list I mean single object in the last video name and phone number but in this video we will send a multiple data at the same time to the backend using the rest API and for that what I did I created a new page and I wrote some code for you and I will explain the code for you that what I wrote over here so let me go on a main dot dot file and just replace the app data page to the list data page and I have to import it and I imported it and if I will hit the save then you will see the new page where we have an app bar so let me go on the list data file and in the list data file what I did that it's a stateful widget and in the stateful widget we have a scaffold basically I created a UI because UI creation is take too much time and uh, the video become lengthy so in the scaffold we have a app bar inside the app bar I'm using a leading parameter and you can see the leading is plus button and uh, I'm just returning an icon button and in the icon button I am using the icon dot add that's why we are showing over here plus button and we have a on place because every button have a property called on place after clicking a plus button we perform some kind of logic and this is the logic I will come here just after explaining this one here we have a submit button which is a type of flat button and right now on place is nothing and the children is submit text that's why we can see over here is submit now let's come on the on place of this plus button in the on place if i will click on plus button you will see a bottom seat and this is the bottom seat code that with help of show model bottom seat and this is a syntax we are returning a new widget called bottom seat so bottom seat is a method which is returning a widget uh, widget returning a container the same thing we did on add data to show a two text form field name and phone number the same quotes you can think that I use over here it's returning a container we added some padding on the left right and top and bottom with help of the padding widget because we wrap the column and inside the column we have a two text form field first one is the name you can see over here and second one is the phone number you can see over here and the last thing is the flat button because after clicking this add button we have performed some logic so right now it's also have nothing because we didn't write any logic yet and you know that that we are using a size box for the padding between the name and phone number and phone number and the add button so that's it for the logic and here we use the controller and uh, you know then you know that in the last video also we initialized two text edit controller name and phone number and we assign on the corresponding text form field I hope you understand all the thing because it is important to understand it and I already explained this all the thing in the last uh, fourth video I mean the last video I think that we uh, created the logic of the UI in the add data page in the last video now it's time to perform some logic 
after adding a name and phone number first we will show the data on this page i mean we now we can add a three four five or many object i mean many data in the in the page after seeing the data over here only we will submit the data so just see that what i will do because after doing it only you can understand it so in the last video in the add data part what we did that we used the model model class the first model class which we created which had name and phone number two parameter but right now we have to deal with the list so you know that we have to create it we created a list model class already where we have a parameter called data and the uh, inside the data we have a list type of model so you know already that we created this model already and we will use this thing on our list data part so before using it first we had to initialize the list model instance which means the object so let me create the object of the list model okay now we created a list model object and what we have to do is that we have to use the init state in inside the list model we have a data parameter we have to initialize it also how we can initialize it we have to just initialize it list model dot data and it will be a empty right now we can create a empty list right now because if we will not initialize it it will return a null so we have to initialize it first so this is a syntax when the page will be loaded we will initialize the list model dot data as a empty list so that's it now let's perform some logic on the plus button after clicking this add so we have to create a new method called void add so what we will do that after clicking this add button we will add the name and phone number object inside the list model dot data and how we will do that we have to use the set state because we have to show that data over here also so when we use the set state the re-render thing will happen and we will see that data over here so inside the list uh, inside the set state we will use the list model dot data and because this data is a list type so we have a add parameter with help of this add we will add this name and phone number and how we will add so let me go on list model it's a type of model so we have to add a model object over here so how we will create a model object using this model and in the model we have a name so we will get a name using the name text edit controller using the name txt we did the same thing in the last video if you remember it and we have a phone number object also and we will get the phone number using the phone dot txt now we added the list model so after adding it we have to pop this bottom sheet also so let me perform the navigator dot pop okay so that's it and we have to use the context without context it will not work and hit the save right now if i will use name as a test 2 and uh, phone number one two three four five and if i will add then nothing will happen because we have to call this add in the add button so let me add this add in the add button after it also nothing will happen because because we are not showing this list model data inside our body parameter and how we will show that if you remember in the my app the first video and the second video we use the list view builder 
so we will use the same thing over here and uh, in the scaffold body we will use the list view dot builder in the list view dot builder we have a two thing first one is item builder so item builder will be written a build context and the index so index is type of int and here we can render any kind of widget I explained you already so what I will do that I will just create a column widget over here so let me create a column widget and inside a column widget we have a children and inside the children I will use two texts first one will show the list model dot data and we will access the each of the item of the list model using the index which we are getting name name the first text widget will return the name of the name which we added and the second will be the phone number okay and I will give some padding because we will have to add a multiple object at the same time so we have to distinguish with all the object the padding will be 30 and I will hit the save and we will get a error because we have to initialize our first parameter which is a item count and the item count will be list model dot data dot length the length we will have in a list model hit the save and now we can see that the test 2 and 1 2 4 5 phone number is we can see over here if I, if I will add another thing like test 3 and the phone number will be 6 and if I will add it you can see the second uh, phone number in the name object over here let me add another phone number in the name object test 4 and phone number is 7 and add it so we have a three object of the model type and we store the data inside the list model dot data so list model dot data contain a list which we have to send to the backend and how we will send it when we click on a submit button so inside the submit button this is the flat button we have a on press and inside the on press we have to call the logic where we will submit the data so let's write it let me create a new method called send which will be a, a sync and await type here we will use the var response and uh, http package and we have to import the http package first so here let me go and we will import the start convert package first which is convert the normal object to the json string then we will import this http package which is which is impos which is important for the sending a data through the rest api now what we have to do is we have to use the http package with the post method now we have to provide the url and what will be the url the url will be this one in this url i am using the post method and inside the data parameter i am sending a list type of data and after successfully sending a data i am just getting a response that all data added successfully you can get the code of this backend rest api in the same repo which I will provide the github repo link on the description where you will get the both the code the front end code and the back end code so let me copy this URL and let me go here 
and in the post method we have to provide the url okay then we have to provide the content type we just did the same thing on the add data part so we have to provide the header with have a content type application slash json don't forget to add it and uh, after it hit the save now we have to provide the body and what will be the body the same thing we did over here that first we use the json dot encode and inside the json dot encode we use our model class for this the model class is list model and here we have to use the to json method for the mapping and uh, hit the save and now when a person will click on this send method i mean this submit button this data will be sent back to the backend so let me call this send method inside the flat button so here we have to call this send method inside the flat button and uh, after sending the data we have to see what are the data we sent and we will see using this my app class so we did the same thing on add data here also we will do the same thing that after sending a data we will see that what are the data we sent and uh, what will happen that the my app class first fetch the data from the back end then show that data on the respective page so let's see after clicking a submit button what will happen you can see that after clicking a submit button we call the send method inside the send method first we send the data which we have inside the list model then after it we navigated to the my app page in the my app page first we had to fetch the data from the back end then we saw that data over here so we added the three thing test 2 test 3 test 4 in our list data page and that is reflected over here if i will again restart it then we will go on a list data page and if i will add a new data like uh, dev stack and the phone number 5679 like this okay and i will add it the first object x came then the instead of dev stack 06 i will use balram which is my name rathor and the phone number will be again something random and i will add it over here two object came here and if i will click on a submit button and you can see that the uh, two object the david stack one and the balram rathor one will come here which means that we are able to send the list type of data from the front end to the back end so the objective of this video is completed and i just need your help please comment any topic which you want to know so i will make a video on the given topic and what are the topic you want to cover on the model class you can write down on a comment and also please like subscribe and share to grow this channel thank you all happy coding and see you on our next video